Hi everyone, this is Mark. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to replace a battery in an iPod. I still have one of these, and if you've still got one maybe laying around in the drawer or whatever, uh, this video may be helpful to you. But uh, the problem I have with this iPod is the, the battery degrades real fast. And uh, I, this is actually will be the second time I've changed the battery inside this thing. I did it once years ago, and uh, I'm going to do one again today. So uh, once I replaced the battery initially, the original battery, it uh, held up pretty well for several years. So again, I'm going to go ahead and replace the battery and hopefully get the same results and it'll last a while. So again, I believe, believe it or not, I do use this thing a couple times a week. I've got a player that I can set it in in my office and uh, play music to it. So uh, again, if you've got one of these in a drawer somewhere, or maybe your kid has one or something like that, and you want to uh, bring it back to life, uh, I'll show you how to replace the battery. Look at that. Let's get started. So I bought this replacement battery on Amazon. It costs twelve dollars. It's by a company called Maximal Power, and it's got a little kit. You see the battery here. There's an adhesive and a couple of spudgers here. So uh, again, I'm going to open this up and uh, make sure everything's in there that's supposed to be in there, especially the battery. And once I do that, we'll get right back to you. Okay, so here we have the battery. I've opened the packaging and everything looks good. The battery itself is here and then you've got the connecting tape here. So all that looks in order. I'm going to set this aside for the moment. And then the next step I'm going to do on the top here is the unlock and lock button. I'm going to go ahead and lock this. And when you lock it, the red piece will show. And then I am going to go ahead and just take... Uh, a guitar pick and separate the black from the silver here along the edge. So you can use, I mean, again, the, the company included these little spudgers. You can use this or, you know, something else, some other type of tool. I would uh, definitely not recommend using something metal to scratch this thing up. But uh, so I'm going to start right here at the upper corner and work this guitar pick in here. And just start prying this up. And you can see it starts to open up like so. And then I'm just going to go all around the edges here. And gently pry this up. Finally, that thing pops, and now this face is detached. And we can open this up. And you can see that the current battery is right here, and it's got the connecting tape goes down into this little area in the bottom of the uh, iPod. So 
we're going to go ahead and show you how to pop that up and then take this battery cable out and then get ready to install the new one. So we'll get back to you in just a second. Okay, so we're ready to try and remove this battery strip where it's plugged in. So what I'm going to do is set this aside, this back gently aside right here. And I'm going to try and pull this up just a little bit to see if I can get a better view of that. But you can see where this plugs in. There's a little black plastic piece that the tape actually plugs into down there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this micro tip flathead screwdriver and just gently wedge this down in here and pop that little plastic piece up. to where it snaps and then you can just grab this battery tape connector and pull it out so that disconnects the battery there and that's where it connects and that gives us some freedom of movement here to lay this backside flat and then the next step will be to uh, actually just remove this battery Okay, so we're ready to take this old battery out, and what I'm going to use is this plastic spudger that was actually included in the kit. I have some of these myself, but uh, I'm just going to use the one that came included with the battery kit. And then this is stuck down with adhesive, so I'm just going to start prying where I don't see anything that's going to get broken here. So I'll start with this edge here and just gently pry this up. And then I'm going to go along here again. I don't want to mess up this other tape connector here. So I'm going to go with this larger spudger now that I've got it up a little bit. And you can hear it coming out. And then I'm going to go up here where there's a dead spot. And pry this battery up. to where now I can just pull it out by hand. And that's it. So we've taken the old battery out now. And we're ready to install the new one. Okay, so here's our new battery. It's got this 3M adhesive on the bottom here. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off get ready to install it and then again there's still some adhesive down here too as well but this battery is going to go in with the tape side facing this outer wall over here so again this yellow taped up part here again will go against the outer wall too so the battery should sit just like so And then I'm just going to press that down. And that's it. So that battery's seated. And then the next step will be to put this connector back into this port right here. Okay, so we're ready to try and reattach this connecting tape into this port right here and this is going to be a little bit difficult to show but again this goes right down into and I'm going to bend this tape down a little bit it should push down into this little port and again gently put it down in there to where you can't push it anymore it's inserted and then I'm going to take this screwdriver again 
you just push this black frame piece down to where it pops back into place and our battery should be connected now so before I go ahead and pop this into place I'm just gonna leave this loose I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this iPod let's see if this thing powers up And we do have life. And there we go. It all appears to be working. So I'm going to go ahead and power this down and just for good luck I'm going to try it one more time and power it up one more time and you can see the battery reading is very low so I'm going to go ahead and power this off and then I'm going to go ahead and lock it again and then I'm going to go ahead and Start pushing these, this frame back into the silver piece. And again, just line it up and press everything down. Until everything fits nice and flush. And that should do it. So I'm going to go ahead and charge this battery and I will get back to you when the battery is charged to make sure everything's working fine and uh, sign off at that point. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've charged the iPod here for about an hour now and everything appears to be working just great. I hooked it up to the computer. The computer read it just fine, uh, synced it with iTunes and all was good there. So uh, not a bad investment for $12 to bring this little iPod back to life. So Hopefully, if you've got an iPod out there you're looking to resurrect and need to do the battery change, this video will be of help to you. But uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, send a few likes my way. But uh, again, I will see you uh, on the next project. Thanks so much for watching.